<laughs> Hi, I'm Liz. You probably know that though. I am a suicide attempt survivor. I just wanted to have this video up to explain why I do what I do. Because as down bad and sussy and chaotic my streams are, and potentially YouTube will be, I want this to be where I come back. Not just like for other people watching and people who watch me, for me I guess. Come back and watch and remember my why. A couple of years ago, I threw myself off a building in the middle of the night. Now you might be wondering why. It's because I'm mentally ill. <laughs> I have type 2 bipolar disorder or that's what I've been diagnosed with. A couple of years, like probably before I started streaming, I got the green light from my doctors to stop my medication and then still go through therapy. And I think like three months after my psychiatrist had essentially told me that I didn't need therapy anymore, that I had conquered my depression. And that's when I felt adequate to try and talk about my story and open up about it. I am essentially a special case. It's very interesting. I mean, surviving a jump is very special case. I would, I, yes, holy fuck. Um, yeah, <laughs> kind of blows my mind, what the fuck? Before I threw myself off a building, I had a best friend who I lost to this depression and I was very done with life. The surviving part is surprising because I had thrown myself off of a window in the middle of the night and for whatever reason a plank had caught my fall. Two stories. Two stories. This is going to be so stupid, but fresh out of literally destroying half of my body because I threw myself off a building, I thought I was fixed, that I didn't want to kill myself anymore. That's literally what I told my doctors. I had 11 doctors. I had bubbles in my brain because of the impact of the fall. And I was in danger of getting like <laughs> a seizure. Um, broke my my arm had a giant gash on my knee completely like shattered my cheekbones and my jaw couldn't couldn't bite so i was on a liquid diet for a while and i had the fucking audacity i had the fucking audacity to say that i was fixed i had to go through therapy a lot and talk through frustrating things that caused ruptures in my relationship with my family and ruptures with my relationship with myself. I just thinking about it is making me cry because I just I don't know how. I don't know how I got there. Or I got here. I don't know how. Hi, Mango. I just don't want people to see mental health and my survival as like, it's just like, you know, butterflies and rainbows at the end of it when you get through it. There's no fix. There's no like, there's no, there's no like one day I'm just like, it's fucking amazing. My depression is gone. My anxiety is gone. It may feel that way for a while and then it just comes crawling back and you feel like shit again and you're reminded that that it's just a constant state of being I still have days where I recognize that I want it and like call me an anomaly 
but I've been able like through therapy and help and like people that love and care about me I'm able to recognize that I'm allowed to feel that way I can't act on it and I shouldn't because at the end of the day losing me hurts and I've been there my best friend shot himself in the head and I hated myself and the last thing I want is for every single person that I care about who I don't know why care about me back to feel the way that I felt I've been through it I've been the one to cause the pain and I'm the one who's been hurt I've been there. Existence has weight, has importance. Me surviving has weight and has importance. So just, if you're getting through it and you're going through it, just ask for help. There's no harm in asking for help, even if you don't think there's help around. I started streaming because I wanted to empower myself from telling my story. All my friends who I've lost didn't have this. <laughs> that makes me so sad. <sighs> they didn't survive this. They didn't survive life. They didn't get God knows how many times a chance to try again. There's a point to all of this, I think. Like, even if there's no point in all of it, I think it's worth just living out and seeing where you get. Helping other people. I think that's... There's no un-aliving in a sense of like, there's no erasing your existence the moment you exist. There's no, life would be better for my friends or my family if I didn't exist. There's no such thing as that. You're literally being a piece of shit by speaking on their behalf. I think even when you think nobody cares, somebody does.